All right, so what's going on, everybody? I just wanted to talk a little bit about my own personal preparedness journey and where it has brought me and what do I think? Would I do it all again? For me, it brought me down a better path as far as pretty much just being a better human being. I seem to have grown up a bit a few years back or something. Not saying I'm fully grown up yet, right? <laughs> I still I still mess up, everybody does. But the big thing for me was I used to uh, I used to drink quite a bit and uh, just mess around with stuff. Not really care about pretty much my whole life about what tomorrow is or what tomorrow is going to bring. We'll deal with it tomorrow. I still sometimes feel like that, minus the drinking part. My dog is just running around. My dog, the wife's fluffy little dog. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> uh, for me, cutting down on the drinking definitely helped me uh, focus a little bit better, be more prepared as far as mentally, as far as my attitude with stuff. Um, getting stuff ahead of time, too, has calmed me down a little bit with having to be so far on edge as far as like, ah, I don't care what happens, we'll just deal with it tomorrow. So I kind of, you know, I've been fighting for years, uh, different styles and stuff, uh, it's a whole story, uh, weapons, everything, and then got into the gun stuff, and that's kind of what seemed like, well, you have to be ready if uh, this or that happens. I'm always like, well, I've been in a fight before, I ain't too worried about it, why would I ever use a gun? Well, what happens if? And then that's what gets you into thinking, oh man, well, what happens if? Well, wow, maybe I should, uh, it's windy, maybe I should get some extra food if what happens if because if I have all these bullets and knives and every other stinking thing you could think of but I don't make it to the next situation because I don't have any food and my father uh, is a preacher man he goes to Africa he goes everywhere he's made some friends out there you know he's been out to Europe a whole bunch of times we live here in the US and has some of his uh, friends come back to the US and I've got to meet a couple and uh, before I moved back to Michigan just a little over a decade ago we met one of my dad's friends previous to this but we met and, you know we got to see him again from Africa he's talking about what the outreach stuff that they do for the children out there and Sometimes those children out there, the only thing they get is that one bowl of rice in their school. And it freaked my wife out to where she was like, oh my gosh, I never want the kids to, you know, be hungry and go without. And then I started looking into different ways. So my overall journey, I was already into the fighting stuff. This got me into like that instead of uh, regular insurance, this dog. I got myself into like food insurance, right? I'm getting the extra food. Well, we already liked going camping and stuff, even though I lived in different ghettos and cities and everything, we'd still seem to go camping. And not as much the wife, uh, but I always liked something, you know? I, I wanted to be outside all the time. I did a lot of fishing, I like to fish. Hunting's okay, it's kind of fun. Uh, more action with fishing it seems like most most of the time unless i was bunny hunting so i, I like doing that once in a while because it's just everywhere and bam, 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 bam. that's a lot of fun for me um but that all that stuff just kind of led me to well you know i'd like to live out on a piece of land myself someday and kind of homestead well for now i'll have to prepare for stuff in case there is an issue that's how i got into the whole preparedness thing overall and i would say i would say overall i would still do it again might have done some of the gun stuff a little different but that was maybe getting swayed in all different ways you know just like with the knives i've i've tried all these different knives um maybe some i shouldn't have bought just like with the firearms just like with the, the stuff you're gonna store well, I gotta buy a whole bunch of this because it says food rations. So the first thing I did was went out and bought a whole bunch of food rations and got into the mountain house and got that kind of stuff coming in, but it was like one piece at a time or or maybe I'll go buy five of those food ration bars. Well, since then, obviously they've expired. Uh, some of them popped open and, and weren't too good. But see, I didn't know enough about that. Uh, I ate quite a few of them and brought them 
hiking, had him for snacks, whatever. You see what I mean? There's just different ways that everybody thinks they're going to end up doing things, especially in the beginning. Like right now, I'm looking for 30 years self shelf life stuff. That's why I got into rice and I can the rice and I my lot of the rice. And then I got into caching stuff and food putting stuff in the ground. So I don't have to worry about it. It's not all in the house. Can't have everything all in one spot. So for me, it was risk mitigation. I don't know how you'd say that, but if one spot burns down your whole house and you have all your preps in it, you're screwed. If you have half of a minute, you still have something. And I feel like that a lot of times with, you know, the, the financial stuff. I've always been kind of into stocks until more of late. The, the past few years, I, I did a couple things, but I just, I'm, I don't know. I've always liked the gold and silver and stuff, but I haven't really been doing much with that either. Uh, it's it, The preparedness journey for me has gotten me to maybe calm down a little bit and not react so fast and maybe think about stuff a few steps ahead of time instead of having to react right away i could dip duck a pivot two weeks in advance a month in advance or hey dog get out of here or just banging into my stand or i could see these things coming ahead of time because i'm paying attention so i'm not worried about it when that time comes i'm not like in shock I would, I would say to anybody overall, if you are just learning about stuff or you're just starting to decide, should I do this kind of thing? You don't want to be paranoid. You don't want to be, I've had some, I've had some stressful situations with it, I would say, just because like, oh man, oh man, I got to get this now before something happens. What if, I, you know, I'm one of the last ammo crunches or uh, uh, we couldn't get Augustine Farms food for a little while. Uh, so I was like, oh man, we got to get something. Went over to Patriot Supply and got some. Um, or I just run and grab something at the store because look, I got the extra money on me right now. But why pay $12 for one mountain house? You see what I'm saying? Yes, 25, 30 year shelf life, stuff like that. It does. It's good to have. I think you got to have a good mix. And I eat my mountain house at least once a month. I'm, I'll mix one up at work. Just... I'm going to have my chicken and rice or I'm going to have the lasagna or something. I found some on Amazon for like $9 instead of 12 bucks at Walmart or a local local store. Um, you got to do that kind of thing because if that's what you're stacking up on, that's what you're going to be eating. You better be kind of used to it. You better see if your guts are used to it. Some people get worse heartburn. Some people get constipated or diarrhea. You know, it just depends. So... I have a lot of fun doing it i may end up slowing down with some of it though i mean once you get to a certain level you're like, like where am i gonna put this now I, I can't rent an excavator every year well i mean i guess i could right rent an excavator dig a big huge crater stuff all your stuff in it but in winter time you gotta think a lot of these things winter time it's gonna be hard to dig that stuff back up so you have to have some stuff above ground and you don't want it all at your house right so just, I guess it's opened my mind a little bit to different situations, different scenarios, stuff to look out for ahead of time. It's not all doom and gloom. It's a lot of fun to go train with my friends. It's a lot of fun to train with my friends. It's a lot of fun to talk to my friends to see where we think things are going financially. Overall economics. I guess I'd recommend it. I guess I'd recommend it because every time something happens, oh, I got that figured out already. So it's like, I don't, I don't know the peace of mind, I guess it gives you. Yeah, I don't know. Get an emergency fund. Pretty much wiped mine out like two or three times in the past year. But what happens if I didn't have that? So now I'm in the process of building it back up again. It's only going to be a few grand or something like that. But now I'm having car issues. So if I had that full thing right now i could just go get it fixed and rent a car while mine's getting fixed because it's gonna be 10 days or whatever it's gonna be overall i do think it's a good thing i would say in my opinion i definitely definitely think that it's it's worth thinking about especially with with uh, having a family and if you're gonna be the man you're supposed to take care of the family i don't want to hear daddy i'm hungry no i don't have to worry about that quite so much anymore my children are both over the age of 18 
But still, if something happened, who are they going to run to? Of course, it's going to be Dad. And the wife, the dog, the dog's happy. She's running around this little freak, but I got food for her. If something bad happens, I've also planned meals that, you know, dogs can eat. Uh, they can boil chicken and rice or something, right? They can, they can eat this kind of stuff. No, don't bang into this, you little freak. This is what I'm doing. That's what I'm saving food for? I don't know. Jeez. Hey, life's fucky dog. So, let me know what you think. What, you know, what, are you preparing? You know, I started out a little bit more of probably a survivalist when I really think about it. And there's that little difference I feel, you know, that survival, no matter what thing, is a little bit different than, hey, I'm prepared. But at the same time, they both have a... You have to be able to adapt. My overall journey so far, going this far now, this is pretty much, I was kind of getting ready with the survival equipment and some of the pew pew stuff uh, before that Y2K thing. That's when it all started hitting me. I had a buddy who was a little fresher out of the Marine Corps going, Dude, if it does go down, and that's why I started hearing stuff. I was like, oh no, maybe I should get something too. But I never really connected that I need food to get me to, yeah. Or water in different ways. Um, I wish I could have had someone maybe say like, here, buy this Sawyer Mini. Don't buy these five different kinds of hand pump things that, I, I mean, I've had, out of those five, I had four of them break, I think, so far. The Sawyer Mini still work. A lot of air activity out here today. But let me know what you think. Hopefully this was helpful. You could show it to someone who might still be not thinking of anything it's all like a way to expand your mind i guess you might say right you're definitely uh using your mind in different ways do i look at everything as scary no i'm just kind of like well here comes this fight well the taxes are going up we knew that was going to happen well right just kind of having that extra insurance well i lost my job i have uh, enough food for the next six months while i get a new job and i got a uh, you see what i mean shouldn't be six months people it should be a lot more in my opinion now, all things on this channel are opinion and for entertainment purposes only uh, let me know what you think thanks for watching if you're new give us a file if you want to pretty much nobody does uh, thumbs up supposedly that helps i don't know if it really does and uh if you got any input on that you know like what, what was it worth it for you to start preparing i mean everybody's gonna know if something bad happens that it was worth it like oh man i'm glad i got a year's worth of food and all this water and a way to defend it yeah it sounds good i have more fun camping too now because now i can make it or i can do these like let's go out for the weekend with five items no 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 three items See, you can twist stuff up so it doesn't really have to be camping. It could be also training, practice, learning your little bush crafty, whatever you're trying to build or do. It's just more, that part's I think a little bit more fun for me. But this video has gone on too long. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.